Firaxis Games, in conjunction with publisher 2K Games, released the heavily anticipated XCOM 2 last Friday, February 5th. XCOM 2 is a turn-based tactical video game, and unlike most titles we come across, it's a PC-exclusive game being solely distributed through Steam. So no crappy PC port here. You can expect smooth sailing and a well-optimized experience, free of bugs. Ah, uh, not so much. So far, XCOM 2 has been unfortunately plagued with random crashes, startup problems, performance issues, and other general errors. Currently, the Steam Discussions board is full of gamers complaining about all these issues, and from my own testing, I've run into a few crashes, though performance overall seems quite good. Having said that, there are a few oddities here. Frame rates seem to jump around pretty wildly, but not in the way they do in, say, Rise of the Tomb Raider. Strangely, the cutscenes are frame capped, even with VSync disabled, and with rocking a GTX 980 Ti, some are even locked at 30 FPS. Therefore, we avoided these completely when benchmarking. Thankfully though, the over-the-shoulder camera scenes that are featured throughout the game aren't frame capped. The first mission of the single player campaign was used for testing, titled Sabotage Advent Monument. The test runs for 120 seconds and in that time we get a good mix of different scenes. We decided to use the maximum in-game quality settings with FXAA selected in favour of MSAA x 8 as this offers a better balance of performance and image quality. At 1440p with a GTX 980 Ti using the maximum quality settings, the cutscenes don't even maintain a 30fps average and often hover in the low 20s. Granted, these scenes do force MSAA x 8 the performance is still shocking on such a high-end graphics card. I mean, let's be honest, this isn't a visually stunning game, that isn't what the XCOM games are about. Finally, benchmarking takes place at the standard three resolutions we always test at, being 1080p, 1440p and 4K. The performance at 1080p isn't bad considering the game's maxed out, although that said, when compared to other games I've tested recently, I'm not sure the visuals can even be compared. The R9 380 and GTX 960 are not able to deliver an average of 60fps and rather an R9 390 is required, which I must say is very surprising. Beyond that, the rest of the field average well over 60 FPS, with the GTX 970 and R9 390X never dipping below 60 FPS. Jumping up to 1440p crushes the R9 380 and GTX 960, as both average just 26 FPS and would drop down to 22 FPS at certain times. Only the GTX 980 Ti was able to break the 60 FPS barrier, though it would drop down to low 50s at times too. Unbelievably, the 4K results show almost the same performance we saw when testing these cards in Rise of the Tomb Raider. Those wanting to play XCOM 2 at 4K will either require insane GPU firepower or have to be content with heavily reducing the quality settings. Honestly, I'm pretty shocked by how demanding XCOM 2 is. I hate to throw around buzz phrases like not optimized or poorly coded, but given the performance numbers we've just seen, coupled with the relatively unimpressive graphics, it's hard to draw any other conclusion. Not just that, but the game's horrible stability really makes you question its current condition, and that's really a shame for a PC-only title. Initially, I planned to include a heap of image quality comparisons and more in-depth testing using a range of presets, but given the game's current state, I felt it was best to wait until the game's been patched to fix the various bugs and performance issues. If I'm honest, XCOM 2 isn't really my type of game, so I won't comment too much on the gameplay, However, it seems like the game does at least deliver when it comes to this aspect, as it's received overwhelmingly positive reviews from both professional reviewers and gamers alike. Thanks for tuning in to Hardware Unbox for another game performance video. I'm your host Matt and I'd love to hear what you think on our forum at hardwareunbox.com. Don't forget to hit like and hit subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Yeah.